the phantom of the wallet. Here's the wallet. Black leather and inside the wallet we have two blank cards. These can be examined by the audience. And these are actually printing plates which can pick up vibrations from the spirit world. Leave this here for the moment. You now have a card chosen from a pack. It can be any deck. And to speed things up, I've had one initialed beforehand. MB. The card is then lost into the pack. The three of clubs. Now, one point that you can use any pack for this. It doesn't have to be the same colour as the, um, as the printing plates. It can be any colour at all, as long as it's the same size. Now, in order for the spirit contact to be successful, we have to eliminate as much light as possible. So if we place those two cards face to face, that eliminates some of the light. If we place the cards into the wallet, that eliminates all of the light. The spectator now places his or her hand on the wallet, concentrates on their card, the three of clubs, trying to pick up some spirit influence. After a little bit of by play, the um, spectator can take out these two printing plates, separate the plates, and they should find on the plates. Now we have some mysterious writing, the three of clubs. Again, okay, these are examinable. Of course, spirits can do weird and wonderful things. One other thing they can do is they can move things. Spectator can now place his other hand on the pack, will the card to leave the deck, travel across the ether, and there's a zipper compartment in this wallet, which if you can see it there, inside this zipper compartment there is in fact a card. The spectator can remove this card, and they should be amazed to find it is in fact there, signed selection.